Hi, everybody. So it's a really good thing I hadn't gone live yet. <sighs> I've been chasing my beagle, Wilbur. He's been taking my pumpkins. So um, I'm going to beat my beagle when we're done. He's been taking them off my counters and out of my um, where I've been putting them for decorations. So my paper pumpkins, I'm going to have to put up. But this is what we're making today. And these not only are so fun, but they're so cute. I'm going to uh, let everybody join us. So it'll be just a second as people are joining us. And what we're going to use to put these together is so simple. Let's get the camera straight out. And make sure we're just live on all the channels. Our power's been out. So how's everybody been doing with these windstorms, fires? Um, I hope everybody is super safe. I have terrible fires. Um, because, though, we had all these major windstorms, I had a lot of tree branches come down from our neighbor's tree. Wilbur already got a hold of this one. He tried to steal it from me. But... Um, perfect for these little pumpkins. So I went out and gathered a bunch of these sticks and that's where this idea came from. Super easy and the authentic splendor is perfect for matching the decor. I did not use my hot glue gun. You will want a circle punch or if you're, you can cut a circle. Um, we'll be using some of the uh, craft artisan cardstock and our little pumpkin can be made any size you want aren't they cute so these are going to go in my wagon but like i said i've been chasing my beagle all morning because he got a hold of my fabric ones i made out of old t-shirts and i'm gonna beat him when i'm done <laughs> oh i'm so sorry irene i know the fires the wind i'm hoping that things will just settle down someday in the future so we're going to make these gorgeous little pumpkins nice thing is you can make these in all different sizes nothing glued down so um i just used old strips of burlap and of course authentic splendor i used two different patterns this time i'm going to use three hi kelly and because um i learned to make these years and years ago we used to use toilet paper roll holders but we don't want to use toilet paper roll holders anymore right um, you can buy an empty or we can make our own. So we're going to be making our own. And I'm going to be using three different papers this time. So my pumpkin this size took 24 strips. So out of three different sheets, I will want eight one-inch strips. And I'm going to cut those with you here in a second. Isn't that, that's going to be gorgeous. So I'll be using probably like that on this next little pumpkin. We'll cut our strips here in just a moment, but we want to start with a piece of lightweight chipboard. If you're wanting to create your own uh, toilet paper, it's, it's going to be about the size of a toilet paper roll holder. Hi, Cheryl. Message from Get Oh, goodness. Let's get this turned off. It's been a while since you've had me create a okay. post for your Facebook business page. Sorry, guys. I've drafted a post featuring some of your most promising products. Let's, let's get this just turned right off. <laughs> I thought I had everything turned off. My phone talks to me. It talks to me so I don't have to pay attention to it, you know, when somebody um, messages. So <laughs> anyway, this is lightweight chipboard. This is um, cut four by five and a half again you can make short little fat pumpkins too and i just used the lightweight chipboard that was on the back of the paper pad from splendor the authentic splendor collection hi janice so you've got it, this is just going to be beautiful i could use this side i can use this side it's just hard to choose i'm going to have to make quite a few pumpkins then the stick for my yard and some burlap and maybe some if you have some um fall decorating these are just leaves from uh, that i pulled off of some of mine upstairs but we're going to start with this guy and i cut it four by five and a half and it's off like i said it's off the back of my 
paper collection and I'm just going to use my bone folder because we're going to kind of round it to just help it a little bit. These are really fun and easy to make. And then I'm just going to take, if you've got a glue bottle, um, a cup, anything that you want, we just need to roll it so it's like a toilet paper roll holder. Hi, Beth. Don't worry about it cracking or anything. Because it's going to be on the inside. But once we get that size, I you can put your paper on first because you do want to cover it. So it's four inches by five and a half. So I, this is already four. I'm going to cut it to five and a half. And your splendor should be out in all of your scrapbook stores. I know we have a countrycraftcreations.com. I'm going to use this white, more of the white inside. Where did my bone folder go? And again, using our bone folder. Hi, Nikki. Nice to see you too, Mary. And we're just going to kind of round it to help it get its shape. And now I'm just going to glue that down. It is in the center of your pumpkin, so I did want to cover it. If you remember making toilet paper roll minis, who remembers making those? Um, you can make your own toilet paper rolls because nobody wants to use toilet paper rolls from used I know um, it's longer I will be cutting that good to see you too so just get your lightweight chipboard covered and then we'll trim it again these don't have to be four inches you can make make them in all different sizes if you want short little fat pumpkins and I will be making some in various sizes for that reason, I have the cutest little wagon I bought that I need to put these in inside. These are inside only, of course. All right. Now, again, I'm just going to, first of all, wrap it around a bottle, a cup. Um, because I want the white side showing on the, this is going on the inside. You can have any side you want. The other, this one I did the plaid on the inside. I just wanted the white looking core. I'm going to overlap it about a quarter of an inch. And let's get our clothespins out. This one you kind of hold. So while it's while it's drying, see there's some writing on there. While this is drying, I'm going to cut my strips. Like I said, this one was two. Hi Sandy, this one was just two different patterns. This one I'm going to do three, and I found it took 24 one-inch strips. So I'm going to leave these. They're going to be 12 by one, and I'm going to use my cutter. And I'm going to cut. Um, cut my one inch strips now after you make your pumpkins you can also decide if you want your strips to be different um, than one inch So there's my 24. And because I cut them together, they're just kind of all in the same order. So it doesn't really matter unless you want a certain pattern, of course. Now, 
these are really fun they're really relaxing hi nikki and you can do these you can do these with um the kids so if you're doing homeschooling this is a great homeschooling project for art right okay i'm just going to oh, love that side too so i'll be using probably i'll end up with more than three designs because it's so hard with the front and the back so i want the blue side up so i'm going to curl it so that the side i want showing is up and i'll just start we'll do we'll do four i said this is going to be hard they're all so pretty so i want to start with my first one And we're just going to attach it to the inside like so. So we have some holding to do on this one. Unless you're using hot glue. It's a little more fat, a little more, you know, quick drying. But I like to just use art glitter glue. Now we're just going to go to the opposite end. It doesn't matter. I didn't measure my placement because what's going to happen is it'll it'll be smashed down a little bit anyway. And then I'm just going to actually think I will go back to the leaves for a minute so that I'm going across and you can ink these all if you like to ink your edges of your paper beforehand and really give it an antique look. So for this one, I'm going to go right across. Now, oops. you'll notice it just kind of flattens over. So when you do the bottom, now if it tears a little bit, it's going, it might, you're okay. But if you, let me show you. There, on the very first one, kind of form it over the edge, then it's already going to, have its placement and it'll be easier when you squish it down we have to squish these down like pumpkins and if you're using wet adhesive there we go. it's easier to form it there you go when you get to the top while it's still a little wet So our pumpkin's starting to take shape. Let's try and also get that edge. So right now I'm just going opposite ends. while we're holding this for a minute i'll show you i used a three inch round but if you have a two inch two and a half or you just want to take like your coffee cup and use it as a circle you could do that and just draw a circle you won't really see the bottom so if you don't have that then you can do that So this does take just a few minutes. I just have to answer a question. Sorry about this, just gotta answer our warehouse. Do one more, one more leaves. Try and bend those over. 
yes, you can. I was going to use actually my paper towel, but my paper towels are full <laughs> and I didn't want to unwind wind them out. So, yes, keep your pos your paper towel holders because those will work, too. And then just cut them down to size and I would cover them. So, yes, you can use your own or you can make your your own and see how he's he'll start taking shape here. Now I'll just start with the other colors and we're going to just keep working around and it's going to get a little harder and harder as we're putting them in. I don't worry about them being even on the inside because no one's going to see it. And again, it might tear if it does, don't fret it because it's going to be all covered up. But try to there, encourage it gently to go down. We'll be smashing it. So I think I will kind of go back and forth. I do like how that's turning out. You can also use different size strips. These are one inch. You could also do a combination. One inch, three quarters. So we'll just fill in that spot. Oh, hello, Bonnie. I was looking for you. I saw your name. I just didn't see, see you yet. So these look really cute on the table. I had mine up, had one, had the big one up on the table. So they'll be also. fun for your Thanksgiving decor. Okay. Sometimes they like to come up. That's all right. Just pinch them back down. Or add more glue. I am using art glitter glue. I use it because it dries so quickly um, and you really do want something that dries quickly okay if it's being really stubborn you can set a closed in there for a minute and we'll keep working So this one looks a little shorter than an inch, which is okay. Hi there, Suzanne. They are one inch, but after you make a couple, you can really play around and make your strips any size you like. So many fun things you could do because you might even want to take some of the green spectrum and make some curly, which we might do. On this little guy. So let's just put the clothes in there. Like I said, great project if you're homeschooling for art. They're 12 inches long. Oh, I think it looks so cute. Gal, I, I posted pictures. I have them on. I had the big one upstairs on the table. I had to bring it down to show you. Um, it really does look cute on the table. Now, when you squish that down, like I said, it's, it's going to probably tear in some spots. It's not bad. Don't worry. We're going to cover that if it does happen. And it might get to where you want to, yeah, you're just going to have to play with it and see how your paper's acting if you need to do 
some bending beforehand, encourage it to go down. Pretty soon here, we'll start creating, like, it'll, it'll close up. It'll start closing up our bottom, which is nice. Because we're putting so many layers down there. So I'm just kind of squeezing that. Just shape your paper. I think they're just a lot of fun to make. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and start angling a little bit as we get thicker and thicker here. This is what makes this just a nice, relaxing project. And don't worry about bending the papers. We're going to reshape them. Gently as we go. The blue looks really cool with that. I'm just going to give it a little bend and then I'll... those down. Now we're just kind of going to go around and fill in to make it as full as you want. I'll tell you, we're getting the smoke here in Utah. And I can only imagine, I can't, how bad it is, Bonnie, how, where you guys are and up there in the West because it's killing our heads down here. Okay, as we, you're going to start seeing now the holes starting to close in and it is getting a little um, more filled in, which is good because we'll be able to just start laying them across the bottom here very soon. Oh, and another thing you can do once we get this bottom filled. I wouldn't use sand. It will come out. But you could put some rocks, pebbles in there to give this some weight if you wanted. Um, you just put a few rocks down in there when we close the bottom. And it will also weight this up. Or you could put some sand in a bag. But sand will fall off the bottom. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I was weighting my other one down and there was sand everywhere. It's like, that was silly. Pull on that a little bit if you need to. Yeah, beans, anything heavy. If you want to add weight to it. Get him straight. And it is, it's, I think it's just really relaxing. When I was making them yesterday. It was nice not having really any measurements and just glue and hold. <laughs> Sometimes we need those projects. And then after you're done, it just turns out so cute. Starting to get filled in down there. Okay, 
push it down a little as we go. And make it, we're going to just keep going. Oops. Layer after layer. And I just kind of overlap where the spots are bare. him up where you won't need to as we're working. So this is a little more multicolor than my first one. And remember the size has to do with the um, size of your your roll. Um, no we may it's well it's it's a homemade one Heather. Or you can use your paper towel. Um, you can use paper towels too. What I did is I. It's kind of thick there. I uh, show you in the beginning how to make your own toilet paper roll holder just with the lightweight chipboard, especially if you're not wanting to, or you don't have a paper towel. Or you can also take the rolls. I've done it out of new packages of toilet paper I just open it and pull it out okay, now see I can start sitting this now right on the bottom I'm not wrapping I'm not wrapping wrapping it in the hole anymore it's just too big and it's also going to poke it out a little bit more which is what I want to give some more layers here hi Janice now you're on YouTube <laughs> well I'll tell you this authentic spectrum not spectrum I'm using splendor <laughs> sorry uh, the colors I think are just amazing so you am trying to, to go in between so the top I still want to wrap on the inside and now the bottom since I am no longer wrapping it I'm just going to leave my bottom square And I'm just adding it to the bottom because it's getting so full. Need another one of these. And again, we'll just kind of off center it. And see, I'm just placing it on the bottom. And in nature, pumpkins aren't perfectly round. So I'm not I'm not going for that perfect. Um, it took 24 strips. Move my pumpkins. It took 24 strips, Heather, and I I do use them all because I wanted a, a nice full pumpkin. Maybe you like a Charlie Brown pumpkin. <laughs> if you do it smaller, Nikki, I would I think I would kind of play around with it. Um, I would go. You could go five eighths or three quarters. If you're going to go smaller, um, actually, you could probably still go with the same one inch. But if you go smaller, you probably only need a 10 inch strip. So if you, this is a four inch, 
this is four inches high. If I went three inches, I'd probably take my strips down to 10. If I went two inches, a nice little short fat guy, I'd probably take these down to eight. Um, play with one and see what you like. You might like it at 12 and it'll be big and round and chunky. And then you can change the sizes of your strips in width and length. Oh, here's one we've already done. Need to fill in a little bit more over here. In fact, I'm going to fill in with another one of these. So I know you've got lots of scraps. Just grab those scraps and play with them with your different sizes. Uh, Kimberly, the width of the finished pumpkin or the width of the strips? Our strips are 12 by 1. And I cut 24 of them for the four inch height pumpkin. Starting to really take shape. I just love it. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it when um, fall arrives. Anyway, the colors, I just love the colors. Hi, Sherry. Oh, you just got here. Well, we're making we're making our fall pumpkins. These are so fun for decorating your house with. Now, the width of your finished pumpkin is about eleven. It's about eleven by eleven. It's pretty. This one's a pretty good size one. You can make them bigger, and you can add two strips together. Now, see, we're getting really full here. Which is what we want. Oops. And I'm going to stack mine in a wagon that I have upstairs that I bought at the craft store in Cobby Lobby, of course. And it has it's an orange wagon with pumpkin on the side written. So this will be perfect in there. If my beagle Wilbur will leave them alone because he's already been into my fabric pumpkins this morning. Again, don't worry if you get some little tears here. It's going to happen. See how cute it becomes? It just really takes shape. And then check and oh, see where you want more color. Am I out of polka dots? Oh, I am. Okay, my pumpkins are going the wrong direction. That I didn't check my directional, but it'll be okay on this guy. So now I'm just going to go around and fill in, you know, any spots that I think are bare, like right here. And you can really incorporate this in if you're doing the homeschooling or you want to just do it with the grandkids. How fun would this be? Um, the nature hike. So take them out. Find the sticks. You can use sticks. You could also make, like I did here, you could just take some fabric and make one. This is the one Wilbur got a hold of this morning. So him and I are going to have a talk after our video. Fall decorations are off limits to the beagle. Actually, he's just wanting attention. Okay, so now let's fill in some of these, there we go, spots that are looking a little bare. You can also bring in the leaves from outside. Dry them out a little bit, put them inside there. 
on the stem part. Give him that real realistic look. And looks like I'm going to work on these two here. Another blue one. <laughs> um, Heather, you know me too well. Yeah, what well, he always wins. But he's asleep right now. I hear him snoring. He is a little concerned because I did get pretty mad at him. You want to know how he got the pumpkins? He climbed on the counter. That's why he's in so much trouble. Oh, that would be perfect for him then. Um, <laughs> yes, if you're homeschooling, you will. No, you won't need a permission slip this time. I'm going to put one more here. And then that is my 24 strips. You can, of course, do more. You can do less. And you can put a little tea light inside here. So um, if you're going to put, or you can put a candle, a tea light, you can poke holes in your center and put a tea light in there. Or a string of lights, just, you know, the battery operated and weave it throughout the inside of this little pumpkin. Be really cute. Okay. Now I've squished it down and I pretty much got the size I like. So we want to punch now. If you have a circle punch, or maybe you're going to use, um, if you just want to use a square, it doesn't have to be um, the circle punch if you don't have one. But I'm going to take my craft card stock, I'm going to punch two of them. Or you can cut it out of the lightweight chipboard. And I'm going to glue these together so they're stronger. <laughs> oh, so Daisy wants a puppy. <laughs> okay. Decide what you want for your bottom. My, I mean, you're, it's going to kind of take shape, so it'll kind of decide itself. But you could use either one if you like, <clears throat> like one better than the other. Um, this is the hole that started to close up. So I'm going to now put my circle down here at the bottom. And this is where I mentioned if you want to put something in here to weigh it down. And I did think sand would work, but it still came out the bottom of the tube so no real candles are not a good idea not real candles battery candles come on guys <laughs> okay now for my stem um is the stick of course and you have to decide how long you want it and i do want it to be longer even though wilbur has already chewed he came and took my stick you should I should, yeah, should be able to break it. It's dried out enough. So that's the amount I'm going to go now. For the inside, I didn't uh, glue this down. I just took some paper towels. Actually, we can just use our stick. And I'm going to stuff some paper towels down there with the stick. I don't want to see it of course but you could use small but that that's gonna that's what hold that's what's going to hold it in for me okay now I took some burlap I already kind of prepared it and I did have more but Wilbur got a hold of it <laughs> yeah he's been on one you could also use a netting. Netting would be very cute in this. And pull some more of the burlap. 
threads out. I love burlap in the fall, especially. Now, let me pull out the spectrum. I don't. They didn't really have. There's not a green. I smashed that one. There isn't a green per se. So I'm going to go ahead with this one. It is the back of my cut apart. I'm going to use my cutter. Now, oh, if you want, we're going to still be sticking more in there. You can definitely hot glue your stem down if you think you want it to be more permanent, of course. So let's take, I guess I bent this one up good, didn't I? I'm going to take a 12 inch strip. I probably want more than this. And it's half of inch by 12. It's a little bit crooked. That's okay. This is where if you have green, we're just going to wind it kind of like paper. I mean, not paper. <laughs> you know, our Christmas at Christmas time when you take the curling ribbon. Right. Don't let your paper get bent in the drawers. I'm going to cut it on my big cutter. I cut two different sizes. This one's this one is more of five eighths of an inch. I think I've played with them too much. Um, there, that's much. I did a like half inch, quarter inch. No, I didn't do a quarter inch. It'll tear. I did five eighths of an inch. There, that does it better if you don't play with it so much. But you could definitely screw it. Now I'm just squeezing this together. Quarter inch, half inch, and five eighths. And then you can just cut them if they're, if you want them to be even smaller. Just clip them with your scissors. And my hand's in the way. I apologize. So you can just clip them with your scissors. We have a fly visiting us. And this is where green would look really good. I'm just sticking them in there. You can hot glue. You can um, use your art glitter glue. But it's, it's pretty stuck down in there. And you can also use ribbon. Oh, did I put that ribbon away? I did. I didn't mean to. So in my stash, I have ooh, I have a brown polka dot. You know, I've just had this one for years. I'm just going to wind it around here a little bit on the stem so it shows.
or you can use twine. Oh my gosh, you can be so creative. You can use anything you want. And then again, these leaves were just from some that I've already used for decoration. And I just pulled a couple of them off the branch upstairs. We'll poke that down in there. And it's tight enough. And there's our little pumpkin. So I did take the leaves off this one. <laughs> so I'll go get some more because I really like them on both. And that, that fly in me. So that is, you can make big bows. You can do so many more fun things with these. But um, look, we made those in under an hour. Super fun. Super easy. And Splendor makes it so easy. Try out different size of pumpkins. And then, oh, I'd love to see them. So be sure to join us on the Every, Everything Authentic group here on Facebook. I don't know if you guys can see that fly. He's just buzzing everywhere. Um, on the Everything Authentic group, you can show us your finished projects. But I'd love especially to see your finished pumpkins. So be sure to show us over there on Everything Authentique. Send a friend request and we'll we'll have you join the group. Yes, they were cute. I love them. They're so relaxing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this too. I'm going to go get mine in the wagon. Have a talk with Wilbur. And it's time for some pumpkin spice coffee, don't you think? <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you next week.